The crank test involves three parts. The arm is first abducted to 90 degrees and externally rotated until an end feel is felt. As the examiner reaches the end of range of motion, he or she watches for apprehension on the patient's face or a muscle spasm end feel. If apprehension or a muscle spasm end feel is evident, the examiner then applies a posterior force to the head of the humerus. This will result in external rotation increasing before the patient becomes apprehensive or muscle spasm recurs. To test the integrity of the glenohumeral joint, the examiner can then do a surprise test, which is letting go of the hand on the humeral head to see the reaction of the patient.